I'm going to use serverless CLI because I want to deploy my Lambda to AWS using serverless CLI. It is one of the good tool that is out there. When I use Python for my Lambda, I found serverless to be pretty seamless compared to other tools that is out there. So this is how I install serverless globally. So serverless CLI is installed globally. Now I need uh, the setup command for my Node.js project for my AWS setup. So this is the command that will generate a Node.js, AWS Node.js project. Okay, let me open the project. So there are three files of which one is handler.js and serverless.yml and this is just a function which will return a JSON response and serverless.yml has all the configuration. I'm going to delete the handler.js because I don't need it and I'm going to write my own which is pdf.js because we are going to generate a PDF. Okay, for now it is empty. I'm just going to copy paste later. Um, now that we have a basic setup, let me search for Papatia. Okay, I'm going to right away uh, go with my setup. I'm not going to explain much. So Papatia, using Papatia, I'm going to generate an HTML and using that HTML, I'm going to generate a PDF. For people who do not know Papatia, please look it up. It's just a, it's just like a browser running headless. So I'm going to install Papatia. The whole idea is to have Puppeteer and have my HTML template given to Puppeteer after which I will convert that HTML to PDF. I'm not using HTML to PDF uh, CLI because there is an issue in setting it up with Lambda. It's a huge file. So this is the shortest way to get your uh, uh, HTML converted to PDF. So now that I have Puppeteer, I need additional libraries which will get these working. So these are the additional libraries that you need for you to uh, get your serverless projects or your Node.js project to work with Lambda uh, in such a way that the Puppeteer is all set. Now that we have Puppeteer and uh, related libraries, I want a templating library, a Node.js templating library, which is Handlebars. So this Handlebars, Handlebars is a Node.js library. So this Handlebars, uh, you could I mean, it's just a HTML uh, where you could insert your data. Like if you're writing an invoice and things like that, you could uh, escape inside that templating library. Uh, okay, now that we have all this set up, I'm going to include the library that we have installed. So in serverless, there is a configuration where you could say plugins. So serverless offline is a plugin that we are going to use. I'm not going to explain much. You could later look it up. And I um, also have linked the function that I'm going to write. So this is a function. A quick walkthrough is that it is going to have a, uh, it is going to use Puppeteer and run a Chromium. So this Chromium, since it's a browser, uh, this browser, for this browser, I'm going to supply the HTML file. And this HTML file, after I supply the HTML, uh, before I supply the HTML file, I will use handlebars a templating library and replace all the content dynamic content that I need I generate a HTML then using this puppet here I'm going to create a PDF that is a whole idea uh, if you I will link the article below you could click on the link and you could see the article to read the code and once I generate the PDF I'm going to put it in my s3 bucket so this will upload that particular PDF, generated PDF to the S3 bucket. That is the whole idea here. So <clears throat> now that we have the basic setup, uh, which is um, sh which should be self-evident. Um, now let me replace the other setup, like changing the bucket name and all those. Yes, now we have the setup. Now I'm going to create a handlebars template. Uh, it's going to be very simple uh, template since I have included a handlebars template it can be your invoice or it can be your order uh, in order invoice or anything and you could write it as a handlebars.hbs the basic layout and things and things that you want as dynamic you could supply the data as a dynamic data to that particular file here I'm going to read the uh, handlebars which is a separate file and take it as a string okay so this file variable will have the string from the hps had uh, 
from the template.hps file so once I get that string I'm going to pass it to the handlebars function and I'm going to pass two things this string and along with the dynamic data that I want okay so once I pass the dynamic data I will have the final HTML that I need so here I'm going to pass the data along with the handlebars template let me create the dynamic data some sample data so I'm just going to say the title or whatever so now that I have a title and I'm going to have a text and this will automatically replace not automatically uh, it will get re, uh, inserted into that handlebars template now we have the basic setup and everything is set you could take a look at the code in the article that I have linked below okay so uh, okay now that we have everything ready I have missed uh, I need to also set up the bucket I'm going to create a S3 bucket with our usual setup okay so everything is ready let me deploy this lambda so I'm going to deploy this lambda so there is some error I think it's some syntax error that I made maybe my, there's some issue with my serverless.yml I need to check with my serverless.yml or with the pdf.pdf.js uh, PDF there should be some error there I think uh, usually when you work with yml files you tend to <laughs> Uh, not inundate properly and in this case in the plugins I am not inundating properly let me uh, make a space mm. okay the inundation is set right let me try again okay so I'm going to run the command again this will deploy the lambda so we have lambda ready we have the bucket and serverless will also deploy all those plugins that we installed if you recall we had puppeteer and the other serverless offline plugin and uh, chrome something plugin and many other plugin along with it so this will get deployed to lambda because of serverless so that is one thing now this is the lambda function that is deployed uh, there's one more thing that is pending I need to update the role so the role has certain permission I need the role to have a s3 access permit because because only then it can update s3 bucket with the file that it generates now that we have everything set now we have proper permission we have the perfect function everything is perfect uh, let me run this lambda okay I'm going to run this lambda and see if it generates a PDF in that s3 bucket now that we ran that lambda I'm going to just check it in the log if it ran okay Mm. let me see yes voila it works it seems to work yeah 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 there are folders and the PDF so this is the PDF that we generated using puppet here so uh, I have tested I have worked with many other solutions where you, uh, you could generate a PDF there are solution which will constrain you um, in designing I mean if you want a complex designing uh, there are a lot of solutions where uh, you could write on your own like node.js or ruby or other languages have their own set of library which have their own domain languages these languages or these particular libraries have certain constraints but since you already know HTML this is the easiest way to go usually there is a library called HTML to PDF converter using which I use to convert this uh, HTML to PDF and deploy but since I'm using lambda here I cannot use HTML to PDF it's a huge library uh, you could get it working with lambda but it's a, it's a, sometimes you may run into some issues so it's not always advisable but in this case using puppeteer and and having these uh, serverless offline and other library available this HTML to PDF conversion conversion is a breeze so I would suggest to go with this approach 
one more beautiful thing about this is even if you are working with your own Django project or Rails project, you could still have this as a separate Lambda or API gateway and uh, get your uh, PDF generated because this is going to work uh, separately. It's, it's not, it's totally independent. So that is one other advantage of using this particular thing. And uh, moreover, what we are going uh, in our office, what we are doing is we are totally moving towards serverless setup because we like this uh, setup where everything is isolated and you could work with it. So there will be a lot more videos coming up using uh, AWS Lambda like um, Stripe Gateway and many other fun uh, like image processing. These are things that I'm planning to make next videos. Um, so also do check out pipesort.com. So in pipesort.com you will see all the features separately like and I'm doing the videos for each features. If you're somebody who has an app idea, you could look at these features and take a look at the flat pricing and the flat timing and you could get a rough estimate. So stay tuned.